Hello, welcome back everyone. The wig I'm going to be using today is Jennings. She's a synthetic wig. Here it is, out of the box. The part is non-existent. Uh, not to worry, because that is why you have clicked on this video. We're going to do something about it. So keep on watching. She's just a regular synthetic wig. Not much to it. That is mean they're trying it on. That part is far too tight for my liking. So I'm going to give it a block. And I will be cutting off the lace. So I will be showing you guys how I do all that. There you go. But she is a beautiful unit. She's called Jenny. It's from a free dress equal. Hey, the first thing I do when I get my wig is to take all the combs out. All of them. The one in the front, the one in the back, in the middle. All of them are coming out. They serve no purpose for me. So I just take them all out. They intend to do more damage than good. Because I will be adding my elastic band method on this wig. If you stay tuned for part two of this, you will be able to see how I add elastic and put this hair in a ponytail without no glue. Hooray! <laughs> So here I'm just having her on the manicure head. I'm going to, you know, get on with the plucking. Enough of fluffing around. You really want to take as small hair as possible. And uh, you can always go back and pluck more if you need to. Um, reason being is you do not want to over pluck the hair. Once it's over plucked, it's over plucked. That is the end of that. And... You cannot undo it. So just take a little bit at a time. If you can take one strand of hair at a time, even better. You do not want to poke a hole on your lace. Mm. That ain't cool. Okay, take it easy. Take this process easy. Right, there you go. I'm just really plucking the hair now. I'm taking a small session of hair as you can even if you can take just a strand of hair hair at a time even better you, the last thing you want is to pluck a hole on your lace because the only part in this entire wig is that very part where i'm plucking at so you really want to be careful take your time there's no rush on doing this i have plucked a few hole over the years on plucking wigs so just keep on plucking don't forget uh, you can over pluck so like I said before, you can always go back and pluck a bit more if need be. Because once it's overdone, it's overdone. There's no going back. So take your time. Just pluck a little bit at a time. Then go back if you need to. It's dante. Very dante. I hate doing this part, I tell you. If I could wear my wig without having to do this, I would. But I just do not think, personally, that does not mean you cannot wear it without plucking it. I just don't like it looking that thick because my, my own hair is, is thin and nowhere, I don't think natural part look that thick. That is just my opinion. That does not mean, you know, oh, if you do not pluck your wig, you cannot go out with it. By all means. So here I'm just... Um, I clip the hair away with a banana pin a clip. I'm just cutting off the lace now, the excess lace. Be careful. Make sure all the hair are pulled back. Dampen the hair a little bit if that helps so that no hair is in your way. Don't cut the lace too far back because that is how the hair will start to shed even more. And just again, take your time with this. Don't rush. If this is your first time, take as long as you need. Yes, it's synthetic wig, but at the same time you want it to you want it to last, you know. Uh, you want to get few use out of it. So here I just said uh, turn the wig upside down, and I'm gonna attempt. I've messed up so many wigs trying to do this. So wish me luck. To take out that little piece there, it's like a double 
lace on that very part. I really don't understand why they put it on, but I figure maybe they have, have that part on to reinforce the wig or the part. I, I don't get it because when I cut that piece off the top, there's another piece underneath. So in the end, it's a bit bumpy. It doesn't lay as flat when you, you know, wearing your hair, your wig. So I intend to try. Oh, that was successful. So if it's, if it's your first time, don't attempt to take this off unless you know what you're doing. So here I'm applying a bit of concealer. Uh, I mean foundation. This color was a bit too bright, but for the purpose of this video, it's going to have to do. That is that done. It's looking more like scalp now. Although when I'm wearing this out, I will be adding a color that is more suitable to my skin. There you go. Not bad, huh? Then just adding a little bit of baby hair just to disguise the lace a little bit. And I'll be adding a bit of got to be glue just to lay down that baby hair. Did not really go crazy with baby hair because they can become a, a bit of a giveaway. But this is one of those uh, cases where less is more. I did went in with a touch of foundation just to further blend that lace with my skin color. This is optional. If you are going to use foundation, obviously, do use the one that match your skin color. So all done. And I'm feeling it. This wig is under 30 pounds. Can you believe it? It's a synthetic wig that I've customized and made to look this way. It did not take long. It did not need much. Just a little bit of TLC. And voila. Uh, 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 uh. I'm loving it. <laughs> anyway, here it is. It's all done. Thank you all for sticking by. I'm loving it. I hope you like it too. There we go. There you go. A sneak peek of part two of how I customized this lace wig. So stick around, guys, so you can see how I was able to achieve this look on a ponytail with no glue, no tape, none of that. So if you want to know how I do it, you have got to stick around this channel. Please, please, sis, you do not want to miss this. Thanks for watching.